Hello everyone, Melissa here and welcome back to Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul. I have this mosaic sticker pad by Melissa and Doug. I have really found these to be helpful during this um, coronavirus because of my um, problems with anxiety and panic attacks. I had three books of these. I already finished with the aquarium but um, now I'm starting with my safari and here are the different pictures that I can choose from so let me just pick one out started working on a let's just do this flamingo yeah we'll just do this flamingo they're very easy to pull out and as you can see they already have part of the picture on there and these are really really thick these are kind of glossy you could very easily when you finish this um, frame it there we go let me take that out of the way we don't want that invading our alright so let me just show you up close it is basically just like paint by number. Okay. Each piece is numbered and it's a sticker. So all you do, like this is number 28. So I come over here. I find for myself that if I do this by taking off my glasses, I see better because I'm an older person and we have trouble seeing things. And what I like is this is very easy if you mess up to take it off and replace it. So I place that first piece, number 22. This, these are really, really fun, in my opinion. Like I said, they have helped me tremendously because when a panic attack comes, the fact that I have to pay attention There's to taking, you know, finding my number, placing it, making sure I do it properly, perfectly, in my opinion, then go to the next one. It definitely takes, um, it helps shut down the panic attack from escalating. So if you're like me and you get panic attacks and you're trying to find something to help you when that comes on, these, in my opinion, at least for me, are perfect. So, And I'm telling you, um, let's see, you get 12 pictures, and this book was only $5. That is a steal. You can't, you can't beat that at all. This is well worth your money, and it's a very um, reasonable craft to do. Children could very easily do this. Older people can very easily do this as well. That's what I liked about it. I mean, it's tons of ages could easily do this. I'm 
I'm sorry, because of my eyesight, I do have to keep picking this up. So I hope that doesn't bother anyone, but I just, I can't see. I don't wear bifocals. I couldn't stand wearing bifocals. So... So they're very forgiving if you don't like the way you placed your sticker mosaic. You can easily pick it up and, re and fix the placement and then put it right back down again. Has anyone else um, done these? These are really fun. The eyepiece. Laying down the eyepiece. And you know, this is a quick craft too. I mean, you can get one of these done in like 20 minutes. The quicker, it just depends how easily you can see. Like I said, I'm older, I'm a 53 year old person, so I do have some vision issues, which slows me down a little bit. And it's relaxing. Pick this up and show you so far. See? I thought you would enjoy seeing it this way so it's not upside down. Um, so let me know if you'd rather have me switch this in a different um, way, but I thought this might be the most pleasant way to view this. Yeah, I have to keep taking my glasses off because I just prefer looking at stuff close up like that without my glasses. You know, that's just how it is when you get older. One of those things that you have to deal with that is no fun. You know, you could even do this with a younger child that, you know, may not know their numbers, but you could easily um, sit down with your grandchild. I don't have any. Um, but you could sit down with your grandchild and help them with the number portion, you know, like take it off and say, okay, this piece goes there. And it's pretty easy. You just follow the shape of the sticker, and that should help you when you go to place it as to how the sticker goes down. And you know, Melissa and Doug, they have a lot of really um, cool different kind of crafts for kids 
And they also make all those toys in woods. You know, it's made out of wood. The puzzles and stuff. But yeah, I was... I just happened to see one of these books. The... The, um... The Underwater, I believe it was called. Book. When we took Will to Half Price Books. And I thought the price was crazy good at five dollars so I thought you know what I'm gonna try that and like I said I'm real it's the best five dollars I spent so just search around if you want to look for some I bought my second and third book from a Christian bookstore online but um, all you have to do when you're looking is just type in mosaic sticker pad um, and you should be able to find it that way see I must put that on backwards but it's easy I mean, you'll, you'll be able to tell when you go to put it on if, it, if the sticker needs to be rotated. How's everybody doing? It's a Monday evening. That I'd get on and work on one of these. I don't spend a lot of time outside because I am not an outdoor person, especially when it is miserable hot like it has been. So, as you can see, I have my fan. Um, hopefully, that's not too much of a distortion when I am talking. Got to have my fan. So what have you guys been doing, especially those of you like me that suffer from depression or anxiety attacks, panic attacks, um, how have you guys been coping? I'm going to pull that one up because it's the teeniest bit off. Here we go. Look at that and make sure I put it back in the right spot for you guys. Okay. Um, I had, back when all this started in March, like mid-March, um, I actually had a virtual doctor's appointment with my doctor and told him, he knew, he knows, um, obviously because of the medicine I'm on that um, I suffer from panic attacks I have no idea when they're gonna hit I mean no idea they just come on and I had an old prescription for lorazepam and but at the time when I had my appointment with him I was having a real I had a really really bad cold and he thought that it could have been the coronavirus, so I had to go um, and have myself tested. Um, but he was nice enough to give me a new prescription to help with the panic attacks. 
so it's it was a godsend because those panic attacks are no fun and anyone that suffers from them knows how uh, debilitating they are and I wouldn't I would not wish um, panic attacks on anybody they're just absolutely horrible I need to scoot this up a little bit. Sorry about that. I, I'm not happy with how I placed this one sticker. Alright. 47. And after you finish it, if you see, oh, I'm not too happy with that one sticker or how my picture looks, you can always go back and fix it. I try to address any issues I have with sticker placements as soon as they happen. Just because, I don't know if it's my OCD, I have some OCD tendencies or what, but little things just tend to bother me. These pictures would be so cute in a nursery, depending on which ones, you know, if you have a certain theme. I know when Will, oh my gosh, my first child, I had a, a dolphin theme bed set, a really nice complete bed set for him. So my ocean set of pictures that I got would have um, gone well in, um, in his. I'm going to turn this really quick just so I can do this here, okay, to make it easier for me for reaching wise because I've got short arms. <laughs> That's one thing if I could change, I would make myself taller and have longer limbs. Place this one back down again. And once I finish it, I'll turn it around for you.
almost done. Four stickers left. Okay, last piece. Right, I'm put my glasses back on. As you can see, it does have kind of a glossy finish, so I'm trying to help with keep the glare out, but. quite sure where I'm getting that from, that glare. There it is. The Flamingo is finished. Okay, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. See, then you just take this and throw this away. I hope you enjoy that. Um, I will continue to do some other ones. Wanted to show you too. I will be doing. Um, I started this new uh, adorable llama DIY. It's diamond dots. Lulu the llama. Um, I got this at. Joanne Fabrics and I did start it. I worked for a couple hours one morning I got all of the other colors laid. See it had let's see 15 colors so I only have I think it's two or three colors left, and that's primarily the color of just the llama. But I think her eyes are absolutely gorgeous. I think it's so cute, her ears, the coloring. And um, she is absolutely adorable. And as you can see, it is very vibrant pink and purple. This is going to be absolutely gorgeous. There, you can see her. That's a really good shot of her. She's got a son of kind of like a tassel collar on that's colorful absolutely gorgeous so I will be working on this in another video so like I said the flamingo came out of this Melissa and Doug mosaic sticker pad so that's where the flamingo came from And I have the giraffe to do, a rhino, an elephant, a zebra. We already did the flamingo. Oh, and the adorable hippo. Reminds me of our famous hippo Fiona, which my husband did take me like a month ago for the first time I got to see her at the zoo. I've already started the lion. I need to finish him. I'm not quite sure what this animal is. An ostrich. Uh, uh, hyena, I think is what that is. And then this thing, and then this leopard or whatever. I'm not sure. But that's what's in this pack. Okay? Okay, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this is something that you will um, want to watch me do. So that's, that's the finished product. You could easily frame it. Perfect for young, young people and older people. So this really nice project. 
thank you so much everyone have a wonderful evening please come back like if you enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing to our new channel which used to be kitty's bling bling but it is now the new channel let's talk with melissa and paul bye everyone thank you so much if you have enjoyed this video click the subscribe button to get the latest contacts and check out the other great clips on let's talk with melissa and paul on the youtube network thank you